Who knows how long I have left in the sun? <sighs> Maybe. But even if I could control it, it's a dangerous game. I'd spend every day waiting for something to go wrong, for the tadpole to find some new trick, reassert itself, make me a slave again. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. There's... Something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Two hundred years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Cazador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. Well, the person I was lay here, dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. I feel the same. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this. I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is an offer, I could 
could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all.